Valentine by Carol Ann Duffy. Carol Ann Duffy was born in 1955 in Glasgow, Scotland. She is Professor of Poetry at Manchester Metropolitan University. She was appointed Britain's Poet Laureate in May 2009. This is a position appointed by the government where a poet has to compo compose poems for special events and occasions. She was the first woman to get this position. She has a daughter but is not married to the father but he is in their lives. And finally she is gay. Think of 10 things you associate with Valentine's Day. What do you associate with onions? What do you associate with roses? Stanza 1 Not a red rose or a satin heart. The poet is not giving a traditional gift to her lover for Valentine's Day, such as a red rose or a satin heart. I give you an onion. It is a moon wrapped in brown paper. Here the poet explains why she's giving an onion instead of red hearts and roses on Valentine's Day. She said it is a moon wrapped in brown paper. This is a metaphor. Lovers often go for walks in the moonlight. And the moon is a round shiny ball. Just like the onion is when the brown skin is removed from the outside. It promises light. When an onion is peeled, it reveals its smooth and bright inner surface, just like the moon. Light means hope. So when you remove the brown skin of the onion, or when you go through the different layers of the skin, you get to the light inside. You get to know the real person. It promises light, like the careful undressing of love. Here she uses a simile. The undressing of a person reveals their smooth skin. Just like the undressing of the onion. When you take away all the different layers, you finally come to the bright, shiny onion inside. So she has thought a lot about what gift to give him. And she has decided that an onion is more appropriate than some card or heart from the shop. Stanza 3. Here, take it. She is standing in front of her lover, holding the onion out, offering him the onion. It will blind you with tears like a lover. Again, a simile comparing an onion and crying with tears, just like a lover can blind you with tears when things go wrong. Here in this stanza, she's choosing an onion as a realistic image or metaphor for love. Love will not always bring you happiness. It can also make you sad. It will make your reflection a wobbling photo of grief. When love goes wrong, a person cries. When they look in the mirror, they just see their reflection wobbling, shaking, just like someone in deep grief. Someone is hurt. Someone is heartbroken because the relationship has ended. Just like people are heartbroken when a family or close friend dies. Stanza 4. I am trying to be truthful. Again, she's holding the onion in front of him and saying, I'm trying to be honest. I have chosen this onion as an honest symbol of our relationship, as an honest symbol of my love for you. Not a cute card or kissogram. She has decided on this Valentine's Day 
not to send him a cute Valentine's card or a kissogram, bringing flowers or balloons, delivering them to his door. She's not going to give that gift. Once again, she says, I give you an onion. Its fierce kiss will stay on your lips. So if she gives him the onion and he accepts the onion and he tastes the onion, the taste of the onion will stay on his lips for a long time. Perhaps she would like him to eat the onion and even when they're apart, he can still taste that onion on his lips as a reminder of her not to forget her, that she's always near him, even when she's not in front of him. Possessive and faithful as we are. She said, the taste of the onion will sting, will cling to your lips. Just like we are clinging to each other. We are possessive. We are very possessive of each other. We hold on to each other. We are faithful to each other. She wants a commitment from this man. She doesn't want him to forget about her. She would like them to stay together for a long time. And that's why she chooses the onion, because the taste of the onion will stay on his lips for a long time to remind him that he is hers and she is his only. Possessive could be quite a negative word here, meaning that she's almost obsessed with him and doesn't want him to talk to anybody else or be with anybody else. Faithful, she doesn't want him to cheat on her and she doesn't want to cheat on him. She would like a commitment. She would like him to say that they are in a serious relationship and perhaps this relationship is going to have a good future together. She would like them to be faithful to each other, not to be seeing other people. For as long as we are. So she would like them to stay together and to be faithful and to be possessive of each other for as long as they are together. The onion taste will stay on your lips for a long time. And this is why she chose it because she would like them to be together for a long time. Stanza 7, she is still holding out the onion and she's still saying, take it. The lover has not accepted it yet. She's still holding it out to him. Its platinum loops shrink to a wedding ring. Perhaps this is what she really wants from her lover. Onion rings as a symbol for wedding rings, platinum, an expensive metal, loops, circles, shrink to a wedding ring. So basically, she would give him an onion because she would like him to give her a wedding ring because onions can also be cut into rings. Of course, this is a metaphor, onion rings being a metaphor for the wedding ring. If you like... So basically, she's not forcing him to marry her or give her a ring, but she's saying, if you want, I would be delighted to get a ring from you. Its scent will cling to your fingers. Again, if you put an onion ring around your finger, just like the taste on the lips will last for a long time, that ring on the finger, every time he looks at it, He's to be reminded that they made a commitment, they made a promise to each other, they are faithful to each other. Its scent will cling to your fingers. Cling is to stick to or to hold on tightly to. Cling to your knife. Knife is a dangerous symbol. When you cut the onion with a knife, the scent of the onion also sticks stays on the knife for a long time. Here she's saying, love can be dangerous because it can wound us, it can hurt us. Marriage can be lethal. We could have a very bad and negative experience. So she's being very realistic. Love is a risk, marriage is a risk. And she chose the onion to show that she has taught deeply about their relationship. 
So if we just have a look at the poem here, all the purple words are positive and all the red ones are negative. So the reason she chose an onion, the positive reasons, because it promises light. It's like the careful undressing of love. We will be faithful to each other and hopefully you will give me a wedding ring. However, the negative side of the onion or love is it will blind you with tears, a wobbling photo of grief, it's fierce kiss, it's dangerous kiss will stay on your lips, possessive, a bit obsessed with each other, lethal, dangerous, cling, something that will hold on tightly to you and you can't escape from. So if you were to look at that, it would certainly seem that she has a lot more reasons negative reasons that the onion seems to symbolize a lot more negative things about love than positive which means that she does know that love can be lethal and dangerous but on the other hand she also knows it can bring some positivity but it looks like she's saying love can be negative because there are more negative expressions than positive here as you can see from the red and purple now just a quick look at the poetic devices. She uses alliteration, which is repetition of the same consonant sound, red rose, cute card, kissogram. Metaphor, comparing two different things, not using the word as or like. It is a moon wrapped in brown paper. Personification which is given human actions to something that is not human. It promises light. It's like the moon or the onion promises light, promises positivity. And simile, like a lover. It will blind you with tears like a lover. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And you're more than welcome to head on over to Michelle Benson English Teacher's Facebook page. Good luck in your exams.